Welcome to our channel. In this session, we will discuss Lexi tool. Simply, Lexi is a tool or a program or a language that is used for generating lexical analyzer. Generating lexical analyzer. Generally, the lexical analyzer specifies regular expression. The regular expressions are used to find out the patterns. To find out the patterns for the tokens. Now, we will move to how to create a lexical analyzer by using the lex tool. By using the lex tool. So, creating lexical analyzer creating lexical analyzer by using lex tool so here the procedure is very simple the first step is the lexical analyzer creates a program by using lex language so the first step is this is the source program the source program is defined in lex.l what is mean by this one the source program is constructed by using lex language dot l in the sense it is a lex language now the source program is provided input to the lex compiler why if it is a language of lex that is simply if it is a lex language only lex compiler can solve this lex language okay now Whenever we are providing this Lex language to the Lex compiler, that the Lex compiler produces a C program like lex.yy.c. This is the predefined format. Lex compiler produces a C program. This is the first step of creation. Now, what is second step? We got a C program. Now, the second one is the C program, that is whatever the program we had got, the C program is provided input to the C compiler. Then the C compiler generates an object code A dot out. C compiler generates an object code A dot out. Remember, this A dot out acts as the lexical analyzer. This A dot out is called lexical analyzer. What the lexical analyzer do? Simply read some input stream and then produces some token. The entire operation is performed by using A dot out. See, A dot out. What is the input? Simply a stream. That is a stream of characters. What is the output? Tokens. That means this A dot out acts as the lexical analyzer. This is the way to creating a lexical analyzer by using a lex tool or lex language or lex program, whatever it is. Simply by using lex, we are generating lexical analyzer. Now we will move to the file format of the lex or simply the structure of lex program. Suppose we are writing the program, if it is a C program, starts with preprocessor, global declaration, main, and so on. In the same fashion, Lex language also follows some structure. So, file format of Lex or another name is simply structure of Lex program. So, the Lex program contains mainly three sections. The first one is called declaration section. In some, they are referring as a definition section also. For example, if you are writing int a, so actually a is called declaration. Suppose int a is equal to 5, that means we are initializing the value also, that is called definition. So, so the first one is generally a declaration or definition section. Second one is transition rules. So, the rules that are used for identifying of a particular action. And the third one is auxiliary functions. Auxiliary functions or another name is simply subroutines. 
subroutines in the sense the functions that are used in the program the functions that are used in the program these three are the part of the lex program now i will explain each and everything with the syntaxis so declaration if any variable any variable constant or regular expression a variable constant or regular expressions are declared in this section are declared in this section so every declaration starts with percentage flower bracket some set of declarations closed with percentage bracket the first step is declaration any declaration remember this is applicable only for variable and constant percentage some set of variables are constants and then closes with percentage bracket suppose like this percentage int a suppose constant int b is equal to 5 close this is the declaration that is the lex program contains two variables one is that means two identifiers so one is a variable another one is a constant remember that thing if it is a regular expression no need to use this brackets if it is a regular expression no need to use the bracket suppose letter is equal to 0 1 and so on sorry a b and so on z digit is equal to suppose 0 1 and so on 9 so simply you can write without any percentage flower bracket okay this is the way to write down the declaration of the variables and then regular expressions variables are constants and then regular expression after completion of this one at this position you will have to write the second part you have to write the second part what do you mean by second part the transition rules the name specify the transition rule it provides some rule for identification of a token provides some rules for identification of a token the transition rule we are using percentage percentage any rule that begin with percentage percentage and ends with percentage percentage you got it in the previous one declaration begin with percentage flower bracket closed with percentage closed with flower bracket but the transition rule the second one is the transition transition rule starts with the percentage percentage ends with the percentage percentage in between you can write any number of patterns that means you can write any number of rules see this one so this is the way pattern 1 space some action 1 pattern 2 space action 2 and so on close with that means what is the thing here we are defining a pattern each and every pattern has some action action is the operation that we want to do remember the action is simply a c programming statement the action is a c programming statement suppose whenever i am given an input string the input string is compared with the pattern if the input string and the pattern both are matched then the corresponding action is executed you got it whenever the input string matches with the pattern the corresponding action is executed this is the transition rule and one more important thing is you can write any number of patterns but each pattern is written in a new line each pattern is written in a new line okay this is the second one the transition rule now move to third one what is the third one auxiliary functions auxiliary functions or another name is called subroutine that means if you are writing a program for example normal c program if you want to perform arithmetic operations what to do add of is one function that is defined outside of the main subtraction outside of the main multiplication outside of the main the same sense the same sense 
if any functions that are needed in the program all the functions are written at this position after completion of the transition we can define this position in the simple sense suppose if matches with the pattern one here my action is assume here my action is add of a comma b this is function calling whenever function calling occur control moves to that corresponding function that means action specified simply the call to the auxiliary functions these are the three form notations that is one is the declaration second one is the transition rule third one is the auxiliary function this is the format of flex program in the next session we will discuss an example that include all this pattern thank you